Hello good people of the internet, my name is Andy and you're watching Geek Curio and in today's video I'm going to show you a quick time lapse of painting Neferata the Mortak of Blood. Hello there and welcome back. So over the past couple of weeks I've been working through some of my pile of shame, mostly with this Battleforge set that you see over here in the corner. That one is the Grand Alliance Death Blade of the Blood Queen and in it I've been painting this model Neferata the Mortark of Blood and this is going to be a quick time lapse showing you what process I did and how I got there. Also with some of the quite cool effects that I managed to find by accident as well so I'm going to let you know about those. So stay tuned and let's have a look. So first off it's important to get a good base coat now. I'm using Veleco Black Primer through an airbrush. I also use a little bit of airbrush thinner and flow improver to make this job a lot easier. Next up I cover the entire model with Vileco Glossy Black and this is to prepare it for the next stage where I'm going to be using some of the Green Stuff World's colour shift paints. So the first colour shift paint I'm going to be using is from Green Stuff World and it's a Borealis Green and I'm applying this to the spirits which are coming out of the ground with the mortar. Next up is Dark Blue which is probably one of my favourite of the colour shifts. I've used this on the Alien Queen that I did before as well. Now you can actually run these for an airbrush quite well, however I wanted to have a good deal of control when I was applying it on this particular model. And after that, I'm going to give the entire model a very heavy dry brush of silver. This is to um, make a lot of the sharp edges and components really stand out and pop. Next up I start preparing some of the areas by painting them with Wraith Bone. Now this is a contrast underpaint and I'm going to be going over the top using some contrast paints next.
start painting the areas of the armor in contrast paint, Blood Angels Red. Now, I'm still pretty much on the fence with contrast paints, but I do feel that they do have their uses. Um, it is worthwhile putting a couple of coats on until you get the effect that you desire, but you can always find a spare base that you can always practice on as well. Then follow up with a layer of Auric Armor Gold from Citadel, and I really like this colour scheme. It always reminds me of Hongbao, which is the red envelopes that are traditionally given as gifts at the Chinese New Year. At this point I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with the dress that Neferat is wearing and this actually came about as a bit of an accident. I decided to put a few drops of contrast red into the silver that I still had in my airbrush and I think the, the effect looked really really good. Um, doesn't come up very well on camera but it looks like a satin dress now. I also used some dark paint going back to the Vileco primer to give it a kind of low light as well so there was some shadows in there. And then onto the skin tones. Now this is something that I don't have a great deal of confidence with, however I just used a bit of Rakar flesh with some highlights of pallid wick flesh and also used a little bit of Agrax Earth shade for shading as well. Next up is blocking in all the other colours that I'm going to be doing on Neferata herself. I tried to keep it quite simple so that it was only limited to the same sort of colours I had already used. So a lot of it was mostly blacks and Arakama gold.
finally I decided to experiment and try using technical paint Tesseract Glow on top of Boric Armor Gold to see what effect it would have. I wanted the staff to look menacing and magical and I think it turned out quite well. A bit odd, but well. And after that it's just a simple case of fitting the model to their mount. And all done. And there you have it. So I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. I did finish the model off by basing it with some sand which I picked up while I was on holiday in Cuba and also my own little addition where I put a rim around the base of Screamer Pink. And that's Neferata done. So I'm really happy with how she turned out. I've still got a few more bits and pieces to do in my Battleforge set that I need to work on and unfortunately it's the skeletons and I'm not a big fan of the skeletons but we shall see I'll probably be putting them together this week so as always thank you ever so much for making this this far if you have enjoyed the video please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and if you aren't subscribed already why not subscribe so you can check out all the other videos I'll be doing in the future too so that's all from me stay safe and take care